Recently, the ISTQB has launched a new foundation level syllabus. Mm -hmm. So what was the main focus for this update? Well, it had been a number of years since there had been a, an update. Um, officially, the last version was in 2011, but that was actually a formatting fix for a problem that was uh, introduced in the 2010 version. So it had really been uh, eight years um, since an update. And a lot has happened um, in that time. I mean, agile methods have become very uh, prominent. Uh, you've had new technologies like IoT come along. You've had uh, DevOps and uh, uh, CICD and continuous deployment and uh, just a lot of, a lot of changes, uh, which don't actually um, mean that the best practices that are embodied in the syllabus no longer apply, but it basically mm -hmm. means that the way that you explain those best practices has to be updated. So that was my main charter as the project manager and technical editor of the project, was to try to really bring it into the, the 2020s, uh, position us for that, that time, so that it didn't read like something that could have been written in, say, 1995 or 2005, which a lot of the material did. Uh, so we, we, we solved that problem, which was sort of a, a global problem. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, consistency was another big thing that we wanted to fix. Um, it's always been a challenge to maintain consistency both internally within a syllabus, because there are multiple authors, and also externally across the ISTQB syllabi. So you get contradictions between the foundation and the advanced, or the foundation and the agile foundation, and so forth. So we took the opportunity to uh, use a cross-review process to, um, to make sure that we had good alignment with the glossary and with all the other syllabi. Um, we also streamlined the material quite a bit. So before there was a, a fair amount of, um, redundancy is not quite the right word, but uh, overlap between the learning objectives and the material. So we eliminated that. So uh, the same concepts are expressed in a much more uh, compact kind of, uh, of presentation. Um, wording, we wanted to make sure that the wording was, uh, was very good, so we went through um, not just multiple rounds of reviews, but also multiple rounds of technical edits. I was one of the technical editors, and also uh, Dorothy Graham uh, mm -hmm. participated in that process. So we, uh, we really polished it quite a bit. So um, I think it's been a, it's been a real major, uh, major step forward in, in a lot of different ways, and uh, I'm very happy with the material. CTFL, new and improved. Moon improved, that's right. <laughs> and ready, ready for the 2020s, absolutely. Yes. Good. <laughs> yeah.